this is the first time I think uh, globally to do a virtual uh, EOS hands-on uh, training uh, with this hybrid technique. So uh, I'm happy today to, uh, I have two sessions. This is the first session that I'm going to do uh, FMB. And then in the, in the afternoon, I will do another session for uh, the SIS drainage and access. So first of all, to, 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 to introduce my team, I'm working here, uh, in the Roya Training Center uh, with Salma and Rania uh, supporting me today. Uh, I'm using the Fujifilm uh, EOS scope, uh, the 580 UT series with the SU1. Uh, and uh, we are going to use also, uh, we have two models and two here, two uh, uh, simulators. One of them is for FMB, where we have uh, really a non-biological one, one of the, really one of the interventions of my team to do an FMB uh, model, uh, a non-biological one. And we have another biological model where we have the cyst and, um, and really a, a true uh, legions, but biological one. So uh, going to the going to the to the procedure, um, as you know, we have uh, two uh, types of scopes. We have the radial scope where you cannot do uh, biopsy. So I have the radial scope. If you can focus here on my hand, so Mustafa, I cannot so, uh, see, uh, this I is can the, see you on, on my screen. I don't know okay. for the other moderators if they have the full screen. You should see me now. But you I have not now. Screen. You're on the small screen. You're on the small screen. We, we need a large screen. No, uh, can you, could, uh, Nuran, could you put me on the big screen, please, Nuran? Okay. Yeah, you we're still see seeing Mark's screen, actually. Yeah, we, we can only uh, see you on the small we screen. Yes. Could, you, could you just... Uh, the con we have control room. Could you, could, you, could you please put me on the big screen? A full screen of me. Full screen yeah. of with uh, Mustafa. But yes, no, no, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with Mark, I, I think you okay, need to stop sharing your screen. Ah, okay, this is good. Yeah, you're on the big it's screen okay. almost. Yeah, yeah. Okay, are. so yeah, so uh, as I said, we have two types of uh, EOS scopes. The radial one, where we have here the probe here. Uh, all through, which we can, it's for, for diagnostic procedures, where you can see 360, uh, the, the lumen, as you can see in the presentation. And we have the linear scope, where you have the probe in, in, in this part. And the main difference is that you can, we can put a needle or we can put an instrument here. So for the scope itself, we, it's the same like the ARCP scope. We have uh, the normal uh, uh, elevator, the normal elevator, which control uh, the movement. So you can focus here now. Uh, 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 so you can have this is the this is the this is the the elevator where you control your your movement. So I'm going to uh, to just introduce the needle. Uh, so we have previously we were using I would say a couple of years ago we were using this we, this is the FNA needle. We were using this needle every day. This is the 22 gauge needle where we use it every day. But again, the, uh, this is from Boston Scientific, uh, the, the older expect needle, where we were using this, um, I would say, for all the biopsies or for the FNA. And then the paradigm shift happened where we have the new uh, needle, the new uh, FMB needles. Uh, and this is, this is an FMB needle. Uh, this is the acquired, the new acquired needle. And the main difference that here you have, I, don't, I will try to show this to you, that we have at the tip, of the uh, the tip of the of the needle itself, I will focus on it in one second. It's the lab. Uh, so this is if you can focus here, please. Yeah, you can see even now the animation of this. Okay, I think it's very small. So, but this is this, this is the typical. This is the tip of the needle. You can see it on the now on the on the animation. So this is typically what I'm going to do. So it's not only that you are aspirating uh, some cells, but you are taking really a core uh, biopsy. So um, for, for the needle, uh, I will explain a little bit of the steps. So the steps are, the steps are, uh, first of all, you have, this is the needle. You have uh, two handles, you have two uh, locks. So the first lock here, uh, where, you, uh, where you control the movement of the external sheath. You push and pull the external sheath, and this is the lock. 
and you have the second lock here which you control the needle so if i will put i will i put it here and then i will push like this if you can focus here a little bit yes yes the other way the other one this one yes so if i push i can push the needle out so this is the second control and then the third you have here the internal the stylus uh, where you have the, this is the stylus we're going to pull it and last thing to, to, to just to show you that is that we have the aspiration needle. So this is the aspiration syringe. We're going to put it to aspirate uh, and I will show different techniques. You know, normally, I think all the lectures covered this already. Uh, we have the, the aspiration technique versus the capillary technique where we only pull back the, the, the style. So first of all, I will put my needle uh, in the scope. I will show this is the needle. So you put it very uh, uh, like any instrument and very important you need first of all to fix uh, your needle so this is like this uh, zoom out a little bit no zoom out zoom out 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 yes okay so i will show so, so first of all we need to push our stylus like this yeah zoom here yes okay so and then you can control you can see you can control your, the movement of your needle by the elevator up and down and then we will do this inside the simulator now when we uh, I'm, I'm ready in my position i will pull back the stylus a little bit like this i will push my needle and then i'm inside the lesion and then i will start uh, the technique of uh, pushing back and forward to uh, start aspirating and taking the biopsy meanwhile salma will be pulling the stylet to create the negative pressure inside the needle. And usually what I'm doing on my daily practice, I'm combining this capillary technique by pulling back the stylus and then I will put the, I will put the, the, the aspiration syringe. So I will start uh, uh, to go inside the, the simulator. So if you can see that, if you can put the EOS image, please. Okay. So this is an EOS image. Uh, could you put my picture as a smaller image, please? Yes, perfect. So I will here, we have a lot of lesions, but I will select one of them. So this is one of the, the our, uh, our phantoms. So we have here very, uh, you can see now the lesion is coming. So I will search, so yes. You can see now part of the lesion on the, on the left picture. So first of all, I will centralize my, my picture like this. So you can see now the lesion. So the lesion is in the center of uh, my screen. And uh, second thing, I will show some, or something also one of the really, uh, and this is a very special thanks to my, my, my colleague and friend and daughter, Noran, that uh, she really did a lot of work on this simulator. So we can even show uh, elastography on this uh, on this simulator yeah you can see i can put elastography picture freeze so you can you can see this even this is one of the power of the su1 we have elastography so you can see now that the lesion most of the lesion is green so this is a soft lesion not a hard one uh, again we are not here we are inside the simulator but this is just to show you the uh, so I will, if I'm, if I'm this is a real patient, I will try as much as I can to uh, guide my needle through this uh, bluish part. And this will be, I will say, this will be the, the very interesting part. So I will start, first of all, as I said, I will uh, push my, uh, my external G's a little bit, just one centimeter. And I will centralize my, my picture again. And then I will uh, 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 remove, I will pull back the stylus a few millimeters. And you can see now the needle coming inside the lesion. You can see the needle inside the lesion now. And then I will start asking Selma to pull back very slowly the stylus while I'm taking the biopsy going back and forward. And then we can do anything. We can do the fanning technique that I can move inside the lesion changing my direction uh, inside the legion you can see it yeah, yes i will focus a little i will just uh, increase the dips a little bit like this and then i will take yeah you can see now i will go like this to see the needle better and then we can go 
I'm, I'm very deep now, I pull back. And this is uh, the typical way to do the FMB. And then I will stop inside the lesion and then I will fix my needle. I will ask Selma to pull back the phthalate and then uh, to connect the aspiration, uh, the aspiration uh, syringe. It's very important. I will show you, Selma will show you how to do it from the start. So the, 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 the syringe comes inside, like, inside like this. First of all, you need to close uh, the valve the three-way valve, and then to have, and then to pull it back, and now you have negative suction inside. I will connect it to my, to my syringe. Can you have an EOS picture again, please? Yes, and now while I'm inside the lesion, so you can see my needle is, in, is really inside here. I will try to have a better picture like this. Yes. Okay, and then I will open uh, the section and I will start doing the same technique again, pulling back and forward, booking back and, and pulling back, pulling back. And then while I'm inside, while I'm inside uh, my, my, my legion, I will stop. This is very important, not to have any gastric uh, aspirate. So I will uh, close the negative suction. I will open, I will remove this uh, totally, pull back uh, the, the first, the needle, lock, uh, lock the needle, open my elevator, pull back the, the stylus, closing uh, the, the second lock, and then I will remove the needle now. And then I will show you now how to put this uh, this on on a, on a, on the on the the on the the the, the slides. Yes. One second, just we, we will remove the needle. If you're Professor Barté and all the chairperson, if you have any question, we can, we can, we, I can hear you. If you have any question about what I showed before, I will show you how to spread the biopsy on the, uh, the biopsy on the, on the, on the, um, on the slides. We have any, just, any questions? Just, uh, just, uh, just a commentary, Mustafa. Uh, first, uh, the, the slow pull-out style technique. Uh, but uh, actually, we have no evi scientific evidence to say that uh, this technique is... For me, the simpler is the best. So, I, 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 my advice is, when you are a beginner, Use the section technique because you are alone and you can do everything by yourself. And also, my, my okay, second so advice let the nurse screw uh, <laughs> this. Because if you are doing that, that by yourself, yes. you the, the, the risk of, of losing your target. Yes, this is, yeah, this is professor, yeah, professor, but yeah, this is exactly correct because what I did today, what I did now, I was putting the syringe myself to the needle and the problem on this, if you have a smaller legion, you have the risk of pushing your needle outside or inside, uh, more deep inside, inside the, uh, the legion. So I will show you now uh, uh, how to put this. I will show it in one second. Give me, yes. So that so that the, the other technique, how to put uh, the the material out, I will show it in one second in the other needle. So we will take another. We will take um, just one second. Okay, so when you are, when you are, uh, when you are, uh, I will, I need just one of the nurses to help me. Okay, so uh, when you have the, the, when you have your, your, uh, your, could you focus on this, uh, in, on this slides, please, like this. So when you have uh, uh, the material inside, so now what I do, I will push my needle for one centimeter out, like this, yes. 
and then I will I will I will start asking while while putting while putting it like yes like this very good thank you and then while asking while it is on the slide I will start asking my nurse to push uh, the the to, to push the style it's uh, 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 no push the needle out one centimeter fix the needle and then you, you start pushing she start pushing the stylus while she's pushing the stylus you start having the material here I will show it in, a, in a one second and then normally what I do I don't know in, in maybe in France is different but what I do from when I when I came when I came back that I um, have always and this is a very important question uh, 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 Professor Barthé and all the chairperson uh, personally, when I return from Belgium, what I do that I, I always uh, have uh, on-site pathologist. I have an on-site pathologist that he will he will deal with me. Uh, he will take the material, and then he will tell me, Mustafa, okay, we have enough material to stop the the, the procedures. And normally, what we do, he will put the first three or four uh, three or four uh, uh, slides three or four. Uh, first or three or four slides, and then he will take the rest of the material for cell block. And what, what, oh, I don't know, if I would like to hear also your comment, Professor Barthé, uh, on your daily practice. You do the same, or you do it, or in, in Marseille, you send everything to the pathologist. For me, I always uh, divide my material between the slides and the cell block. Okay, so Chris? Um, what, yes, what we do is that we uh, we, we take uh, just the first uh, part of the uh, uh, of the aspirate if, if we can see some microscopic tissue and then that goes for the uh, uh, to the cytotech in the room and the rest goes in there to, to smear to make sure that we are in the right place and the rest of it goes into the cell block. And Yuzuki, what are you doing? Uh, we don't have a. Uh... Uh, always uh, loads in a unit. So we ask only uh, the detectable pancreatic cancer patients for the loads. Um, otherwise, uh, we just do FNA. And uh, uh, recently, we do uh, maybe two or three passes using the FNA B needle, and uh, we divide it into cytology and the histology. Okay. So uh, I will show you now last thing uh, in the in the first session uh, really how to we have taken the material so as i said uh, i have the needle uh, uh, 1 centimeter out i will ask now Salma you could you focus on the slides please yes i will ask Salma first to push uh, uh, the material to push the material with the stylus yes please Salma she's pushing the stylus <laughs> And you okay. are flushing with with uh, saline or with air? I, fir I first I put the stylus and then I will flush after that uh, with air <coughs> on the slides. And if it's in the so I will uh, now I have already some material. I don't know if it will be uh, possible to to I will push a little bit more with air. Okay. We have a very, I think, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I will search here. So if you can focus on my hand here. Yes, very good. So we have, very, we have this material, this whitish material from inside. So this is typically uh, uh, the, 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 what we take. And I will, we, we normally, I will repeat this is the one, or two, one or two, three times till, till my pathologist say, okay, I will, 